What is going on guys? The other day, I finally got time to jump into the alpha testing and play Castle Sieges. Woo! So, you know what's happening, we're talking about it. Talking about my thoughts on Castle Sieges, how it works in the alpha right now. Obviously, it's gonna be a lot different than it plays out in the final version of the game. Right now, you're teleported to this instanced island, so it's a lot different than when you're gonna be jumping into the battlefield in the open world in the final version of the game. So how this works is right now with our queuing system, you have to be in a guild to get into the siege, but it only has to be a one-man guild. So I jumped on, we all got level boosted to level 15, and we all got 3 million gold. That way we can test more of a, not end game, but like end alpha game content for the siege and how it's gonna play out for everybody who progresses to level 15 towards the alpha one. But yeah, so what happened? I got the gold, I went to the node that was developed up for us, and I bought a mount. I bought some armor that's at a vendor. They had some um, alpha, or they had a castle siege vendor in the node, which is a temporary thing just to get you the gear so you can jump into it and not have the starting zone gear. And I got some plate armor. It looked very knightly, things like that. I didn't actually really look at the stats and take a good look at it. I just wanted to jump into the castle siege. And then I went over and I made my guild. When the time came, you could either queue up to be the attacker or queue up to be the defender. I played as the attacker. Next time I jump in, I'll queue up as the defender when we can test that again. But combat changes testing is gonna happen this week, so I doubt there's any sieges. But so, and then you hunt out for like five minutes. It didn't take very long. Got teleported to the island and I instantly jumped into a ballista. The ballista, it goes very slow. I couldn't figure out how to get out of it initially, even though I'm kind of dumb and could have probably just hit the unmount button and would have kicked me out of it. But I drove the ballista, I got towards the walls of the castle, and then my ballista fell through the world. But you know, bugs happen. This is an alpha. I didn't expect my ballista to run smoothly all the way there. But the range on the ballista is pretty decent. I couldn't figure out a way to adjust the pitch of the ballista when I was aiming at it, or when I was aiming at the wall, so I just had to get close enough and fire. Which, I mean, I guess you probably can't really adjust the pitch because it's a ballista, it goes the same route, so it's kind of realistic. But anyways, I fell through, and then I died, and then I jumped back in. So talking about how this works, on the map, there are the three, there's a castle, let's just say on the north of the map, and then to the center, the east, and the west, there's each a dragon boss, the boss of fire, the tundra boss, and then the forest boss. And then obviously if you kill these guys, you get buffs. And then throughout the zones, there are also like capture points that you can get that you can then choose as a, not as a respawn, but you can teleport to that spot via an NPC to get you closer to the battlefield. There's three on the field, not near the castle, and then there's two more in the castle that can all be controlled, and you just kind of stand on the area and, and wait for it to capture. Obviously, very work in progress. I didn't really see any UI around this or anything, but that's expected to come later anyways. So when you died, you spawned back at the same spot every single time, and then you could talk to this NPC, and it'd be like, all right, go to this east point or this west point and it would teleport you there and then you'd run still run to the castle so the one thing i've noticed even this early on in being an attacker you got to be organized because i had a bunch of people running through and we were going up against an actual guild like the majority of the nameplates that i saw on the defending team were all the same guild and they were a little bit more organized than my multiple one-man guilds like i was in and everybody was just running everywhere Everywhere. I don't think we defeated any bosses. I mean, I ran to the boss a couple times. Nobody even attempted the bosses after like the first five minutes. And all it was is we just ran to the gates, attacked the gates, got defeated, respawned, and ran back. And then we barely barely could even push through the gates because there was no organization. It's just people running to, the, there's three different gates on the outer wall. There's the front gate, that's like the main entrance, and there's one on the left side and the right side that you can go and attack. They have trebuchets on the walls up top firing down, as you've probably seen in the siege video, and those things do some damage. They just bombard you, and then there was always just like a choke point at the doors, and we struggled to get through the doors. Eventually, we got into the first set of walls and into the like outer keep and then there's like a, some stairs you got to run up and get to the next gate where we 
basically, I think we took down the gate, but we didn't get past this. We just kept running and fighting, dying, coming back out. Because again, there was no organization. And keep in mind that this is far from the final rendition of Castle Sieges also. This is just putting it in there, getting some good testing and all of that. There are going to be many different siege weapons and you're going to have all of the different class archetypes working together with massive, potentially up to 500 v 500 players. I don't really know how many were in here at this point there's probably around 100 150 but yeah so this even this early on when you don't have the full system implemented you don't have the full classes implemented you don't have all the siege weapons it was a struggle being unorganized you can just rush through the gate and become victorious which is good because castles should be difficult to take they should not be an easy trip where a guild just takes the castle from another guild with zero prep and then all of a sudden the officers have flying mounts and then it cycles through them. These should be an enormous feat to overtake a castle from another guild if the defending guild is prepared. But anyways, other than that, there wasn't much to it. There was just the two siege weapons and then everybody else is on foot attacking. Um, being this low level, I don't know if it's gonna change. I feel like I've said this before, but it seemed very easy to get killed. Like people were like three shot at me, it felt like, which could have been, there's just other people doing damage and I just didn't realize it. But I feel like going up 1v1 against a couple people, I died very quickly they died very quickly vice versa and it just i feel like the combat on pvp is too quick that's just my feedback going into this but again alpha is alpha we're not even in alpha one yet we're getting right to the pre-test and the nda drops in another two weeks so that's coming but as for performance overall i maintain like 50 to 60 fps the entire time even at the choke point at the gate and with ballistas firing down and all that, it ran very smoothly for the most part. There were some like, not server lag, but like when your game like freezes up temporarily, I got a, not a bunch of that, but every once in a while, my game would just freeze for a couple seconds and then move on, which again, will continue to be getting worked on. So it's not gonna be perfect. It's not meant to be perfect right now. It's, we're meant to test it. So these things aren't there when the game finally launches. But anyways, the session I played was an hour long. There is a hour long countdown timer to keep them shorter for the alpha. I'm sure that won't be there in the fight. I mean, it could be there in the final version of the game because the defenders have to win some point. We had an hour as attackers to storm the gates and it was pretty difficult. Again, for being an unorganized mess. There's also like a each team has like 100 points and then those were ticking down. It wasn't ticking down because of deaths. I'm not really sure what caused it. Maybe it was the capture points as they were taken from another team. It would lose a tick. I'm not really sure. I couldn't figure that out. I was trying to, but I was more into just following the craziness of storming the castles. Um, the castles right now aren't destructible. The only part that's destructible are the gates. I don't know if parts of the walls are gonna be destructible in the end. I think so. I feel like they've said there's gonna be some large destructible environments, which I mean, if you get a large amounts of siege or certain siege weapons, as you're gonna have artisan trees that have you craft weapons or buy weapons from other players, things like that. There could be the potential to hopefully take down some walls. Overall, I thought the whole siege thing was really fun. It reminds me a lot of like Alderac Valley in World of Warcraft. I can always go back to World of Warcraft, but the idea of you're going through and you're capturing these points to get to the final objective, it's a little more challenging. It was especially because it's not killing bosses, it's storming the gates and defeating all the enemy players. But like the classic Alderac Valley, not like WoW Classic currently, but if you went back to years ago when you had these epic like multiple hour long battles, it kind of brought me back to that a little bit. And I hope it plays out like that in the final game again, once they add all of this additional content to it. Like there's gonna be a lot of aspects in here and there's gonna be a lot of planning that a guild actually needs to do to take down a castle. Anyways, that was my first experience as an attacker during castle sieges in Ashes of Creation Alpha Testing. Let me know your thoughts. What do you wanna know about Castle Sieges? Let me know in the comments down below. And I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna be doing this more. I'm gonna play the defending side next, give you more of that side of it. And hopefully I can get into a more organized group at some point too. And maybe it'll be less challenging for the number of us running around and just attacking each other and dying and resetting and so on and so forth. But again, let me know in the comments what you want to know. Otherwise, if you're new to Ashes of Creation and have yet to sign up for an account, 
feel free to use my referral link in the description below. Otherwise, be sure to click that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, turn on the bell for notifications, and stay tuned for a lot more to come.